Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to do another what we eat in a week video with you. This is my favorite type of video to make. I simply get the camera out as I'm cooking throughout the week for my family and show you what it is that I'm making. I like to focus on seasonal ingredients, so a lot of things from the farmer's market or the garden and soon here I'll be transitioning into soups and stews, which I'm also excited about whenever the fall weather comes. I cooked up a couple of spaghetti squash because those are now locally available in my instant pot for about 30 minutes. Going back, I could have done it a little bit less, probably closer to 10 minutes because it cooked really quickly and got kind of mushy. I cooked some ground venison with garlic and onion and salt and pepper in my cast iron skillet. I made a homemade sauce by adding tomatoes, peppers, garlic, onion, and herbs to a saucepan and just cooked it over medium with the lid on and then put it down to a simmer for about 20, 30 minutes. Then I blended it up with my emulsion blender. and then combined all three to make this spaghetti dish grain-free that everyone enjoys. Today I'm going to make a roasted chicken and then I'm going to do a side of beet chips. I went to the farmer's market the other day and just grabbed a whole bunch of beets from the local farmer. And then I was at a shop and they sold me on these infused oils and vinegars. So I have an Herbs Day, Pro Herbs Day Province, or Herbs Day Province, however you say that, infused olive oil and a Sicilian lemon balsamic vinegar. So they had me try these and they were so good. And so I decided I was gonna make some chicken with it. I'm just gonna drizzle this on the chicken. I have some chicken breasts that I get from a local farmer and then just bake it. I think I'm gonna add both of these and then bake it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour and a half until it's crispy. And then make some beet chips and some sweet corn which I also got at the farmer's market. All right, I drizzled it with oil. Now I'm gonna do this lemon white balsamic vinegar. I've never tried this, but I tried it in a little shot glass thing and it was so good.
I have some beef from my sister's farm and I'm gonna make it into sausage. This is something that is really easy to do. I found that you can't mess it up. I've tried it a bunch of different times. You just, I've, I've even measured, um, but I find that if you just add a whole bunch of spices, pretty much all the spices you have, <laughs> it ends up tasting like sausage. And I've tried it so many different ways and it still does. So I know this sounds crazy that this is how it works. But about a teaspoon each of sage, oregano, basil, thyme, fennel, um, garlic powder, salt. I gotta do about two teaspoons of salt, but it always turns out good. So I just combine it together and then I just allow it to sit for a minute, maybe like a half hour or so so that it all, just the flavors kind of meld together. And I'm gonna use this to be sausage. Now you obviously can't taste test it, but I'll just, I'll just put my nose kind of down here and just see if it smells like sausage. The salt is one thing that I wait until I'm browning it up and I'll taste a little bit once it's browned and then add a little bit more because that's something that you kind of need to gauge better and I'm not gonna Taste raw meat, of course. Now I'm just gonna cut some squash or summer squash and zucchini in half. It's a really good seasonal thing to make. And I'm gonna make zucchini boats. The goal here is just to get out as much zucchini as possible and end up with a shell. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit as well. some of my herbs to Provence olive oil and then add some salt and then just bake these for a little bit while I'm cooking the filling. I figure if they're really soft, my kids are more likely to like them. I decided to cook the meat separately from the vegetables because I just don't like the flavor of things when they're all cooked together like that. So I'm just gonna cook this meat, remove it, and then use the fat from the meat to cook the veggies. Now you're gonna end up with a lot of leftover um, filling if you make this. I'm gonna put it in a dish and save it for eggs tomorrow because it'll make our eggs so much tastier to add sausage and mushrooms and onion and zucchini. Perfect for that. Tonight I have a whole bunch of beautiful vegetables from the garden and the farmer's market eggs from our chickens, cream and butter from a local farm, and so I'm gonna bring all of those things together in a quiche. I'm gonna make an einkorn crust with butter, einkorn flour, freshly ground, and ice water and salt. I do have that recipe over my blog, so I'll leave a link down in the description box, but I think this will be a really tasty meal for today. I'm gonna to use a Swiss cheese, so I'm gonna get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is cook up the potatoes because they won't cook in the eggs very well. And then I'm going to work on the crust.
normally when I make this, I don't make a crust because it takes a whole bunch extra effort and I usually have to double it, but every once in a while it's worth the effort to make a couple pie crusts and make quiche with a crust. Tonight we're gonna to be making venison nachos. Tomatoes. If you saw from my pantry organization video, I have tons of tomatoes. And I'm cooking some venison here. We added salt, garlic powder, and then I added some of this. I have this spice blend, I don't know. And Johanna's gathering me some fresh tomatoes from the garden. I'm gonna add peppers and onions and some shredded cheese. And we're gonna cook that to make nachos. And then I'm gonna top it with avocado and jalapeno. I always like to add something with a little bit of liquid to it because I like whenever the chips get just a touch soggy, not really soggy, but just not super crispy. So that's why I wanted to add these canned tomatoes. I think I'm gonna reserve a little bit of this meat have quite a bit. We're still eating deer from last year. I've mentioned this before, but I get my cheese from Azure Standard. I recently did a post over on the blog with some other good finds from Azure Standard. You can check that out by going to farmhouseonboon.com or visiting the link down in the description box.
thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll make more videos like this. I try to make them at least twice a month and also two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.